But if you, if you are a sane human being, then you are always reasoning. You're, you're either doing it well or you're doing it poorly, but you are definitely reasoning. The heart has reasons that the head has no knowledge of. But when, when, if, you, if you fall in love, you get married, people say love is irrational. It's definitely got some irrational components, but there's a reason why you get married. There's a reason why you, most people love for reasons. They fall in love with their beauty, their goodness. In fact, they say about the Prophet them that the reason why you learn the Shema'il is because attraction to the beautiful qualities of a person is one of the reasons that love is cultivated. So just reading about him, he was very beautiful. He was a very physically a very beautiful person. He, he was the most beautiful of, of, of men. And uh, he, he was, everything was, was, uh, was balanced with the Prophet. He had beautiful hair. He had very wavy black hair. It wasn't curly, it wasn't straight because everything about him is balanced. So even his hair was balanced. It wasn't straight and it wasn't curly. The extremes, those are two extremes of hair. You have curly hair, you have straight hair. His was right in the middle of those two extremes. He had wavy hair parted in the middle. It went sometimes to the bottom of the earlobe, sometimes to his shoulders. He had a very, very beautiful uh, complexion. Uh, they said it was like the moon and I asked one of my teachers, we, we were watching a harvest moon rise and it was that beautiful color that's not white, it's off white, it's like a wheat color. And I said, is that the color they meant? He said, that's the color they meant. It's not, because he, lem yikun amhaq, he was not pasty white, like the moon when it's right up on the sky. No, he had a reddish uh, tint to his complexion. Uh, he had beautiful eyes. He had very, very white. His whites, what they call ophthalmologists in America, call happy eyes. When the, they are very white. He had very, very white. But the whites of his eyes were very white. And then he had very striking dark eyes that were penetrating. He had a beautiful aquiline nose, it was, which is an aristocratic nose uh, in, in many, many cultures. An aquiline nose is seen as a uh, a beautiful nose. And one of the reasons that's called aquiline is because it's it's akna in Arabic, but in in, in English uh, they call it aquiline because it's like the akila, the eagle. An eagle has a very beautiful. I once saw an eagle perched on a fence outside my house, and I just watched it for a little while, and I just I realized the eagle completely is aware that it's an eagle. If you observe an eagle, even for a short amount of time, you will see that an eagle is so aware that it is superior to every other bird. And the way it just, it just looks around like, I am not afraid of anybody or anything. It's just got this amazing, and so the Arabs love eagles, and they name their children after them. And they're very, very noble birds, but they have these beautiful uh, aquiline beak. And the Prophet ﷺ had a beautiful uh, forehead. And he had very strong, he had broad shoulders, he was very strong. And he had beautiful, he had a very small, light uh, hair that went down. And, but he wasn't hairy at all. He was, his body was very, um, uh, his skin was, did, he did not have a lot of uh, body hair. But he had very slight uh, hair on his, on his chest that went down to his navel very strong legs, he had strong hands, um, he walked in a very distinct way. Those are all qualities that if you study them, you, it actually makes you want to see him. You want, I want to see that, I want to experience that. And then they describe how he spoke um, and the mellifluous nature of his speech. It was when people listened to him, they were enraptured. And when he spoke, it was like birds perched on their heads. It was as if there were birds perched on their heads. They were just so intent uh, to hear what he had to say. But the reason that they describe that is because that's one of the reasons that you love a person for physical beauty. And then you love them also for their character. And that's another reason. But the main reason that people love is because of ihsan, when people do good to you. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He's the muhsin. I mean, he's constantly doing good to us, and that should engender love in you. And so 
love has reasons. There are reasons why we love. It's a rational thing as well. 